I find it interesting that in conservative states that the Negro considers to be racist and, you know, hating blacks, that the Negro is actually getting justice. For example, let's look at the case of your Walter Scott. Now, Walter Scott was murdered by a police officer in a racist state that many consider to be a conservative state, a Republican state, a state that says that it does not have the Negro's best interest at heart. However, in the case of your Walter Scott, after he was murdered, the, and the evidence showed that, you know, a crime was committed, Walter Scott, the officer who killed Walter Scott, was fired from the police force, and he was charged with murder. And in the case in South Carolina of Deputy Ben Fields, after he assaulted this girl, I find it interesting that the officer there was also terminated. However, in a liberal state like your New York, which the Negro considers favorable to him, the officer, Daniel Panaleo, who choked out Eric Garner, is still on the police force. And the officer who racially profiled and attacked former tennis star James Blake is also still on the police force. Both of these men are still collecting paychecks. They're still on the payroll. And in the case of the officer who choked out Eric Garner, Officer Daniel Panaleo, this officer has been collecting a paycheck for close to a year and a half now. And this is in spite of your Black Lives Matter protests, your Al Sharpton's protests, and numerous other protests to, you know, get this officer indicted. Moreover, your Obama administration, who said that their Justice Department was going to look into this matter, has not made any response, which shows me how little this Democratic Party regards this Afro-American Negro. But meanwhile, many of these Afro-American Negroes will still continue to say that the Democratic Party is still acting in their best interest. I mean, I'm looking at the records of these cases of police brutality, and it clearly, you know, shows how, who cares more about this Afro-American Negro overall. The party and the states where they terminate officers for misconduct and charge them with crimes versus the liberal state, which pretty much lets these officers still remain on the payroll, um, continues to make excuses for these officers, and, you know, refuses to take any sort of action regarding, you know, these injustices towards African Americans. But if you ask any Negro on the street, they will tell you that this Democratic Party, you know, cares about them, cares about their interests, when you can really just look at their records, you know, and it shows you the truth regarding the Democratic Party. I mean, Eric Garner, a year and a half later, still no action taken, and officers still on the payroll, but Republican Party, you know, and Republican states, you have two officers and two cases of misconduct terminated, one charged with murder, and one, I believe, may possibly be charged with assault. But the Negro will sit there and tell you that the Democratic Party acts in its best interest. Here in New York, liberal state, everybody thinks that, you know, this Democrat, these Democrats mean black people any good. Democrats come back to power. Homicide rate among African Americans goes back up. Crime rate goes back up. But Negro still thinks the Democratic Party still acts in its best interest. Cases of police brutality, you know, go on. And they think the Democratic Party still is going to act in their best interest. Not a single officer terminated, not a single disciplinary action taken, and, you know, people still on the payroll, yet the Negro still thinks he can work with, this, with these Democratic mayors and these um, Democratic politicians towards getting justice, and all he just gets is ignored. That's all I have to say for this video. You can comment, rate, and subscribe.